Okay, so in this video, we are going to talk about file aliases in Svelte Kit. Now, I've recently done a video about how to do file aliases with Vite. This is it, and I'll have a link to this video in the description. So, although Svelte Kit uses Vite, there are a few different ways you have to change the configuration for aliasing to work. And what is aliasing? Well, as you can see here, I have a simple Svelte site with a few links at the top and they all share one layout. Now this layout borrows a few components, the navigation component, footer and the newsletter sign up and these just have some simple text in them, nothing fancy. But as you can see in the path, they have this at components URL and the benefit of doing this is that I can move this folder wherever I want. I can have nested components if I want, and this will always stay the same, this at components. And in order to get this to work, you have to change two parts of the project. And that is the Svelte config and the TS config if you're using TypeScript, JS config if you're not. So let's go through that. This whole section is what has been added to the Svelte config. And please remember when you do this, that you should put all this stuff inside the kit object. I've made the error of putting it outside and it took me a while to figure out how to fix it. So we have Vite, all the Vite configs goes inside a Vite object. We have Vite resolve alias, the name you want to call your alias. This could be dollar sign, pound sign, whatever you want. I've chosen an at sign because that's what I'm used to. And then the path that you want to link to. So this will be the source folder and the components in the source folder. And then after you've done that, you'd have to go into your TypeScript or JS config and add a few things. You need to add the base URL, which in my case is just the root, and also your alias, as well as the path it links to. And once you've done that, you might have to reload VS Code so that it can pick up the changes, especially for the TS config file. And you might have to rerun your Svelte kit project. But if you've done that all correctly, Remembering to add this change into the compiler options object. I also made the mistake here as well. Then you can change the path of your components or whatever to what you've named your alias and everything should work fine. That's it. If you've tried this and have any issues, please let me know in the comments below. Apart from that, I hope you enjoyed this video and I will see you in the next one. Thanks for watching.